Hey guys, so uh, here on the sh here at the shop, working on the cylinder head for the P pump six seven. Um, I just I got a couple, maybe an hour before a couple of my buddies show up, give me a hand, move some stuff around. Uh, we're gonna do some work on the um, shorty build. I'm hopefully gonna get uh, my buddy David has got a couple control arms that he's gonna let me borrow till mine show up. So we'll probably be able to get the front diff sitting in the truck, the rear diff sitting in the truck, uh, or in frame, I guess. So got her which if you guys have watched i didn't get uh my grinding wheels yesterday so we're just gonna leave that for now but hopefully we can get the rear diff in and get the front diff at least sitting in there it's not gonna be done obviously but sitting in there um because i'm being that i don't have anything on the hoist we can hopefully take this move it over to the hoist and we can get the diffs in there it'll be way easier on us um and then uh we'll probably be in a couple guys that are coming to help I'm gonna get them to strip all the brake lines off, all the fuel lines off, all the stuff we don't need on there. I'm gonna get them to strip that off for me. Um, just get the frame all cleaned up and everything. But anyways, getting off topic here. So, this is the head that we're gonna use on the P-Pump 6.7, which is a VP44 head, like I talked before. We're gonna use this until we have come to the point where this head isn't sufficient, and then we'll upgrade the head. And then when that one's not sufficient, then we'll upgrade the head again. Um, just to keep um, I didn't want to go to the top of the realm to start with so that we can do it in stages So you guys can see the difference because I have guys ask about that all the time. So Turn a light on so we can see something so you can see where I've topped these off You can see Where I've topped those off and basically what I do is you top those off so then when you put the new guide in, the new guide is just a little tiny bit, it, a little bit bigger around than the drill. So if you don't do that, then you end up with like a kind of a, a, like a ridge from it. I don't like the ridge, so I do it this way. So basically I left this last one. I was, I was gonna film it last night, but I just, I got working at it and I kind of forgot about it. So, well, I guess we need air. Okay, I'm gonna have to pump the air compressor up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Air compressor's all pumped up now. So basically, we're just gonna take this cutter, which just has a little pilot on the, has a little pilot on the end, and then a couple carbide cutters. And we're just gonna cut this down. I just, I wanted to show you guys one of them because it's the exact same process for every one. So to watch me do all of them in time lapse, I don't think it makes sense, but. Yeah, actually, let, let me know in the comments. Do you guys like watching the time lapse of me doing this type of stuff? Or would you prefer me just do it all and then just show you one and keep the videos a little bit shorter? I'm trying to keep the videos between 8 and 15 minutes. If that's something that you guys like the way that I do it, just let me know there again in the comments because I want to do what you guys like. Because it doesn't make any difference to me whether I show all that in time lapse or not. Uh, just you know completely up to you guys but I'm trying to keep the the videos between 8 and 15 minutes 8 and 12 minutes kind of idea so that you know you don't get bored with them so anyways uh, turn the machine on if I take the emergency switch off first so all we do is just go in there And it does wobble a little around a little bit on this one because the it's not really a precision. You're just cutting the top so that pilot isn't just as warm. So not a huge deal on this. It's just topping the top of it off, but and then you just go until you're flat. And that's all she wrote for that part. So now the next person, I'm going to vacuum this off and then we're going to go to the. So I realized that um, I was getting ahead of myself when I was talking. I was saying just now that we were going to do um, the valve seat cutting, um, but we still have to put guides in it. So that's what's going to be next on the thing. Um, but I didn't for some reason film that. So anyways, you'll see me doing the guides, cutting and reaming for guides here. So I got the reamer in there for reaming and um, finish sizing the guides. Uh, just going through drilling them all so the machine on this part drills and reams the the guide here 
so you don't have to do it twice. Um, some of them we do do twice, some we don't, but these ones we do as a single. So anyways, here, I'll be back on talking now. All right, guys, so we're going to just ream this, or uh, drill this last hole. So this is a, this is a reamer drill all in one combo, because lots of times you will do it in uh, two stages. So you will use a, I still have one out here, but basically you use a, uh, one of these, it's very similar to this, but it'll be one size and then you come down and you finish it with the other size. But anyways, uh, here nor there. Um, so I'm just, I'll show you the last one. The machine basically does this part. You can do it by hand if you want, but I have the machine to do it. So I'm not gonna do it by hand when I don't have to. So um, I do need to do those. We need to bring this up so that we are a couple inches away from that. set the machine up here <clears throat> and then basically it just goes in it's going to come down and set them out <clears throat> and then the last little bit i like to be able to ream through myself um, just because i don't like it to go to have to dwell in the same spot for a long time without load on the reamer so not a huge long process per but being that you have to do 24 of them there's 24 of everything on this uh, it, it takes, there, there's considerable time that goes into it, and then the equipment's expensive and blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. So, guys ask why it is expensive to rebuild a head. Um, if you're rebuilding it properly, or what I classify as properly, um, there's a considerable amount of work that goes into it. By the time you're doing seats and you're doing guides, uh, you know, you're cleaning everything, mag, pressure test, all of that stuff, there's a lot of, there's a lot of work that goes into rebuilding the cylinder head. Um, you know, if you're going through it and doing a um, a chicken poop, let's say, rebuild, um, insert word that I would usually use in your mind, um, then bit different. You know, a, a much different story as far as that goes. But you know, one of those things. So you can hear where it just broke through there. That last little bit, I like to go through myself. And then you're done reaming the hole. So now I'm gonna vacuum this all off. Uh, we'll drive guides in it, and then we'll flip it over and do the, we'll cut the seats. Um, I'll show maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do some of it in time-lapse and just time-lapse it real quick, uh, cutting the seats. But I'm just doing this, uh, waiting for a couple guys to show up to give me a hand. So I figured while I was waiting for that, I might as well get this done. All right, guys, <clears throat> so I get drive, drove in some of these guides already. Um, basically, there's the guide. Uh, I've center dot these ones. We don't always center dot them, but on this one, I'm going to just the guides aren't fitting quite as tight as I would have liked. So I'm gonna center dot them. Um, now, sometimes you use lube, depending on how tight they fit, sometimes you use lube. I'm using retaining compound on these ones uh, just for sake of making sure that everything's gonna stay where, it want, where I want it to. Just tap these in there a little bit. I'll tap one in. A little bit and then basically that's all you do is just get them started like that you want to make sure they're started and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the air hammer uh, before they dry and get them driven in there to do an outro on this one so you can just see that i'm uh just finishing off putting the rest of those in there and just drive them drive them in so this is going to be the end of this video um like subscribe all that good stuff and we'll catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching